predictions. Here we are, beginning of 2024. Here are some predictions. Feel free, you guys, to do whatever you want in terms of jumping in on this and uh, seeing what your thoughts are. As for home prices, here in the Louisville and Southern Indiana area, I believe, personally, a 1% to 3% increase. I don't see it falling backwards, though. You never know. Crystal Bowl isn't working today, but 1% to 3% increase in some areas. Some key hot areas may go a little higher. Mortgage rates, we've heard a lot of information about rates dropping three to six times over the next year, probably, again, starting in March or April, but we should see rates starting to come down. As, as interest rates come down, more sellers will be putting their homes on the market, uh, and then also buyers will be jumping out to buy those homes, and home buyers will find more homes because of that, which is all good news. It won't happen in a day, but it will happen by the hopefully the mid to late part of this year. Those are some of the predictions. Do either of you? Oh, by the way, apartment rents guaranteed to almost climb in 2024. How about you guys? Anything you want to add to that? Did I miss anything? No, I agree with everything you said. I, I mean, we've we are feeling bullish enough on the market that we've hired two more uh, inspectors for our team uh, going into 2024. They've been going through training for about the last 90 days. So you said hired. I thought you said fired for a second. You hired, hired, hired. Okay, got additional. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So we feel good about 24. Yeah. yeah. Car, anything on your end? I would uh, echo everything that you just said. I think that there is so much pent up demand, especially yeah. for first time home buyers, people that have to move. There's always going to be those, um, I call them the five D's of real estate that precipitate real estate moves, divorce, death, um, different location, diapers. Um, and I missed one. I'll have to think of that one later that I missed. But yeah. um, but nonetheless, there are so many of these life changes that, you know, are are just inevitable. You've got to find a place to live. And I think that um for our new uh first time home buyers, it's been really difficult. And so now that we have these rates starting to come down, we've seen a little glimmer of hope. Their projections are gonna come down even further, but I think there's still gonna be a massive lack of inventory. So I would just encourage people to engage with a real estate professional, watch the market, and if you find the home of your dreams. Make it happen because even if you're waiting and the rates come down even further and you find a house, it may be back in a situation where it's going to be extremely competitive um, and you're not going to be able to get the terms that you want. Uh, and and it'll be much like right after kind of that uh, big COVID area. It's going to be hard to navigate, especially for first time home buyers. So I would not wait. I would encourage them to get a jump on it um, and just be one of the ones out of the gate to uh, find the home of their dreams. Also, I'm really watching this new legislation that was proposed um, to take Wall Street out of the housing market. I hmm. think that that it, it's called the End Hedge Fund Control of, uh, of American Homes Act of 2023. And so we'll see this bill was introduced into the House and the Senate, but essentially it would prevent hedge funds from owning single family homes in the United States. Now, who knows if it'll ever end up passing? Um, but I'm very curious as to that as we have seen uh, over the last year or two, a lot of investors enter mm -hmm. the market. And again, them um, being competition, being players uh, against, you know, some other first time home buyers or regular buyers, if you will, in the market. So that would be one to watch because taking out that element might make it even more affordable and a little less competitive, which we could stand. I think that new construction, it would be a really hot area. Anybody listening that wants to get into new construction, we have so much lack of inventory. And I know right now it's it's hard to find the land to do it, um, but we have such a great need. I mean, look at Norton Commons. They are flying off the shelves mm -hmm. despite the price point, despite what you think of, you know, if that's your kind of community or not. I mean, it people love it. We do so many closings uh, for Norton Commons. It's extremely popular, that new development. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of other... Um, uh, promising legislation, both state and uh, national. Um, so I think it's going to be an exciting year for real estate. I think there's a lot of unknowns just in any type of election year, but I think we're going to have a good year in, in real estate. I'm excited, Bob. 